Hello info person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to once again discuss a very unusual discovery in regards to one of the most powerful events in the entire universe. The event we usually refer to as a GRB or a gamma ray burst. And well in this case it's right here. Something that was only recently discovered and something that currently makes absolutely no sense. And this is after decades and decades of observations and a lot of different unusual discoveries, many of which have been already explained and actually did teach us a lot about the universe itself. But in the last few years, out of many different GRBs discovered, some really stood out. And quite a few of them have been sort of exciting. But before we talk about all of this, let's briefly discuss exactly what a GRB is and how these are usually produced. And by the way, here's a really cool animation showing us very different GRBs discovered in just the last few years. But in a nutshell, this is considered to be the most energetic and the most luminous electromagnetic explosion, or essentially the biggest explosion since the beginning of the universe. Basically, a giant flash of gamma ray energy, which is of course the highest energy form of light, that in just a few seconds usually produces more energy than the sun is going to produce over 10 billion years of its lifetime. But the first GRBs were accidentally discovered in 1967 during the Cold War when they were actually looking for explosions right here on planet Earth, specifically secret nuclear tests such as the ones by USSR. And over the years researchers classified them as either short GRBs or long GRBs, or essentially there were two main types. Now the short GRBs very often last less than two seconds and are believed to come from incredibly violent collisions of two extremely dense objects such as for example two neutron stars that then merge to produce a black hole. And this is of course something that has been observed in real life and something that scientists have studied previously, with some of the videos in the description talking about this more. With the most famous such GRB detected back in 2017 that was first detected as a gravitational wave event. But we also have long GRBs that usually last from a few seconds to even several minutes and seem to be produced by explosions of very massive stars. And so here when a really giant star runs out of fuel and when its core collapses, as it forms a black hole inside, it also shoots out powerful jets of gamma rays in two directions. And it's the interactions of these jets with all of the material from the star that then produces all sorts of emissions. But apart from these two main types of GRBs, there's always been a few that kind of didn't really fit into any definition and they were somewhat difficult to explain. For example, in June of 2022, scientists discovered this GRB 220627A that surprisingly lasted for 17 minutes. And this was not just a single flash, it seems to have consisted of two distinct blasts of gamma rays, with the Fermi Gamma Ray Burst Telescope picking up both. But surprisingly, following these double explosions, the afterglow from this gamma ray burst seemed to resemble everything else we've seen so far, as if nothing unusual happened. And this made it extremely difficult to explain what happened in this case. With one of the potential explanations being gravitational lensing. So basically we saw the same event, but just from two different perspectives, as a result of something really massive in front of the object, lensing the pathway of light. And here it could be some kind of a hidden galaxy, or some kind of a black hole, sitting directly between us and the GRB. Or at least that was just the first explanation for now. Because within just a few months, we've also observed something even more bizarre. The GRB we discussed many times on the channel before, now referred to as BOAT brightest of all time. The event that was so extremely powerful and so extremely bright that it literally blinded a lot of different satellites and observatories designed to observe these events. And the overall strength and the length of this event was also somewhat difficult to explain. Here it essentially lasted for about 7 minutes and was so ridiculously bright and so powerful that it even had the effects on the ionosphere of our own planet even though this happened billions of years ago in a galaxy far, far away. But you can learn more about this event in some of the videos in the description. And so apart from these really intense and very long GRBs, that even today sort of lack explanations, now in 2025 astronomers detected something even more bizarre. The gamma ray burst detected in March of 2025 that you can kind of see right here. With this event being truly unprecedented, instead of lasting seconds or even minutes, this GRB stretched out over an entire day. And it wasn't just long, as you can see from this video, it was actually repeating. Just like the event from 2022, this was a repeating burst that was detected several times by the Fermi Gamma Ray Burst Monitor. Here it was definitely confirmed to happen at least three times over several hours. And so for an event that's supposed to be singular, and that's supposed to be based on some kind of a catastrophic event such as a black hole formation, and of course the destruction of the original source, this is really not supposed to happen at all. 
and especially it's not supposed to happen multiple times in a single day. And the gravitational landing explanation here would not make any sense either. And on top of this, an X-ray telescope referred to as the Einstein probe was even able to detect X-ray activity from here at least 10 hours before the first gamma ray trigger. And so this was some kind of a slow build up to the main event that was then repeated several times. With all this described in this paper by Dr. Antonio Martin Carrillo and of course the entire team you see here. And so here they used the combination of Very Large Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope to try to pinpoint the exact location and to essentially try to see what's actually happening here. And almost right away they confirmed that this event definitely happened in another galaxy and not inside the Milky Way. Implying that this was an extremely powerful explosion once again and not just something that's basically right here that could be maybe explained by some kind of a explosive flaring star. And one of the most striking features in these multiple outbursts is a potential periodicity. So basically the time difference between fast and second gamma ray triggers which seemed to be about 2825 seconds. Although surprisingly, the third trigger seems to have happened at four times longer this interval. And so this near integer time step potentially suggests some kind of a rhythmic process inside this object that at some point might actually explain what's going on here. At the moment, the connection between periodicity and the observations is not entirely clear. At the same time, the host galaxy where this event occurred also seems to be quite interesting. It's a relatively bright and somewhat extended galaxy that seems to be less than 1 billion light years away from us. So still pretty far, but not as far as originally thought. With the Hubble images showing us that it has a very complex asymmetric shape, possibly containing a lot of really strong dusty lanes. And it's very likely this dusty environment that possibly explains why some of the afterglow here appeared a little bit too red. And so the redness was probably caused by the excess of dust. But the main question still remains. What in the universe could possibly cause this? And what explanations do we currently have? Well, right now there are some propositions. First, this could be some kind of an atypical stellar core collapse that's just a little bit different from what usually happens. For example, in the standard long GRB explanation, the massive star usually explodes, but in this case, something bizarre must have happened to the star in order to cause the collapse to be very extended and to then cause it to be periodic. So for example, it could be happening inside some kind of a dense cluster or may involve some kind of a supergiant star and at least one partner where the overall unique conditions potentially extend the jet's lifetime far beyond what we typically see. Although here explaining these multiple jets and multiple bursts is still a little bit challenging. Likewise, this could be what's known as a relativistic tidal disruption event. And this will be one of the most exciting possibilities. In a normal TDE, a star comes a little bit too close to a black hole and gets ripped apart by its immense gravity. This can then launch a lot of powerful jets and a lot of other emissions that can usually last for hours, days or even longer. And we've actually seen at least one TDE like Swift J1644-57 which also showed highly variable gamma ray emissions and lasted for several days. And so here there's a possibility that this was just a really really powerful such event, very likely involving effects from the black hole and possibly a very massive star. But then there's the third explanation that, though a little bit more exotic, is also the favorite explanation right now. What if this is a white dwarf star being torn apart by an intermediate mass black hole that then causes all of these really bizarre effects? Now, I guess the first question here, so okay, why a white dwarf? Well, because the potential periodicity of gamma ray flashes could be linked to the star's orbital period as it orbits the black hole. And this kind of periodic mass transfer makes more sense with a white dwarf and a black hole of a very specific size. And this would only make sense with an intermediate mass black hole because a stellar mass black hole is not going to produce these effects and the supermassive black hole is usually in centers of various galaxies. And so because this is not in the center of the galaxy, it would make more sense for this to be a smaller black hole but still massive enough to produce these effects. And intriguingly, intermediate mass black hole TDEs have already been proposed by several other observations, which we've discussed in some of the videos in the description. And so in this case, this would definitely strengthen the case for this being another intermediate mass black hole discovered in a distant galaxy. But naturally, there are some other explanations as well. For example, this could also be some kind of a dust echo. Or in essence, all of this is a result of a lot of thin shells of dust around some kind of a star following some kind of a powerful explosion that then makes everything appear as multiple bursts. Although this explanation does have a small problem. For dust echoes, you'd also expect later bursts to be much fainter and gamma ray light to get softer and softer. That's because dust usually absorbs higher energies. But here we don't see this 
and some of the following bursts are actually increasing in brightness, with the gamma ray bursts even getting harder and not softer. And so the dust echo, though equal proposition, maybe does not make sense here. Likewise, the landing explanation has also been considered, but in this case the morphology of some of the bursts does appear to be very different, which is unlikely to happen if these are mirror images, because a typical landing event would produce something that looks exactly the same. And so essentially at least five explanations, with one maybe favored, but still no conclusive evidence yet. And while we don't have a definitive answer, right now this is very likely to be either some kind of a really bizarre stellar core collapse, possibly involving some really strange neighborhood, or this is a white dwarf being destroyed by an intermediate mass black hole. Both of these scenarios would be the first of their kind, and both of them would teach us about these extreme events in the universe. But in a nutshell, in just the last 3-4 to four years, we've discovered so many of these bizarre GRBs, even though scientists believe that we generally understand these events pretty well. Here though, this highlights how much we still have to learn about them, and how even today there are still so many mysteries of the universe that are practically impossible to explain until we observe something similar once again. But here, by using future observations and by possibly focusing on additional frequencies including X-rays, or even by using radio telescopes, or in this case also focusing on the actual supernova link to this burst, we may be able to finally crack this cosmic puzzle. Right now though, it's going to remain a puzzle just like the boat, the brightest of all time GRB, that happened almost exactly three years ago. And so until those scientists figure out exactly what this is, that's pretty much all we have. Thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly, or by joining a channel membership that grants you early access and a few more secret videos. Alternatively, you can also buy the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.